All right, let's go ahead and talk about what's going on out there right now. I know current conditions aren't that impressive, but when you've had the type of morning we had, it's nice to just kind of take a look at it, right? So you head out there and you're able to enjoy the outdoors for at least an hour or two before you get really hot. And it has been all summer since we've had weather like this. We've been kind of waiting on it. So it's 82 now in Columbia. Lexington's at 83 along with Sumter and 81 for us in Walterboro, Winsboro and in Rock Hill now. So those low 80s are holding steady. We're keeping a lot of that humidity at bay, but it won't stay away forever. So throughout the course of the night last night and into the day yesterday we did have high pressure finally drive that front far enough south to where it opened the door to high pressure from the north and so that means we get to enjoy a slight decrease in the humidity mixture of sun and clouds out there today so we're still going to get that and that humidity staying a little bit on the lower side for us as we head into the day today and into tomorrow and really for the rest of the week we'll be able to start out the days with morning low temperatures in the 60s and that's okay with me in terms of your rain. I'm not going to be able to completely take all of your rain opportunities out of the forecast for today. There is a chance once we get to the heating of the day where you could possibly see maybe about a 20% chance of a stray shower or a sprinkle, but that's it. Once we're done with maybe that stray shower or sprinkle, let's say about four to five o'clock, we're taking it out of the forecast for the rest of the week. It has been several weeks since we've been able able to end the week without having rain chances on the board. Rain chances do ramp back up over the weekend, though, as some of that energy begins to lift back to the north. That chance is at 30% for your Saturday and your Sunday, and then 20% as we head into next week, Monday and Tuesday. All right, so let's talk about it. We've got ourselves another hurricane. Name Ernesto, Category 1 status now well to the north of Puerto Rico. I'd say it's basically in between Hispaniola and Puerto Rico and lifting up to the northwest. Let me give you some more information. It's a Category 1, expected to remain a Category Category 1 as it takes that all important right turn, which will keep it away from the U.S., away from the Caribbean. At best, the biggest issue that we could possibly see would be some higher waves, higher surf, because let's remember, here we are looking at it moving over Bermuda as a Category 2 hurricane, winds of 105 to 115 miles per hour. That'll mean it's about 1,000 miles or so offshore. So therefore, you could certainly get some high energy, some high waves, rough surf. So if you have plans to go to the beaches throughout the course of the weekend, keep that in mind. Make sure those kids aren't doing uh, too much in the water aren't going out too far. So just keep that in mind, not just for South Carolina beaches, but really up and down the eastern seaboard. You want to keep that in mind as we go through the weekend and get into the beginning of next week. As it does become a major hurricane, we're expecting it to become a category three before it approaches Bermuda. Just in case you're looking at the 2024 Atlantic storm names, we're done with Debbie and Ernesto. Ernesto, we're now heading, hair heading into Frenchie. Hmm, you tell me. All right, we'll get the pronouncer on that coming up here pretty soon. 87 for us later today, a slight chance of a shower or a storm, and then 67 to wake you up tomorrow morning. We're at 88 for your Thursday. Friday's at 89, so should be a couple of nice days out here as we're able to take those rain chances out. We're in the low 90s as we head through your weekend, tracking about a 30% chance of showers, upper 80s for us heading back to school and work as we head into next Monday and Tuesday with just a slight chance of late day showers and storms.